for the What in God's name is going on in here? What was that ruckus? Uh, what ruckus? I was just in my office and I heard a ruckus. Could you describe the ruckus, sir? Turn the fucking uh, beat up! What is that? What? What is that? What is that noise? What noise? Really, sir, there wasn't any noise. The Alpine's bumping, but I need the volume higher. Bring the motherfucking the motherfucking ruckus! Bring the motherfucking ruckus! Turn me on till I turn them on. Let's get it on. Stop banging on the damn furnace. You hear me now? This is the last time. Musical sound. Bring in the ruckus. You motherfuckers be giving me pounds. And still we must bring the ruckus to all you motherfuckers. <laughs> check, check, check. Yo, what up, though? We are up in this thing. This is the Skeeter Skeetars mini series. It's I, Low Gross, with my wife, Neezy. Neezy, what up, though? What's up? Neezy's in his house. It was all a dream? Yeah. Anyway, um, so how you feeling? Feeling what's, good. What's new feeling you good. Week? Feeling I'm, good. My shoulder back hurt. <laughs> my shoulder back. <laughs> Uh, that's my new pain y'all my shoulder back <laughs> now you know what it is you probably was doing something extra them little workouts you be doing and stuff. i did and i think i just that overstretched it that p90x too extreme for your ass um you know? um oh no I, I gotta ask you so the versus battle is coming up i don't know if i asked you last week no we did we did we you talk know, about you already asked me for gz and ti Mm-hmm. But we changed it now. But we changed it's, it because Ti is no longer gonna be on there. Right, it's Gucci Man and Jeezy. So who you got? I still anybody but Jeezy. I got Gucci. Why you don't like Jeezy? Gucci. Why you don't like Jeezy? Because I don't like Jeezy. I'm not a snow person. I don't care about the snowman. What about Gucci Man? Because that's that's he's still so icy it's still cold yeah way. but i like Burr. gucci better than jeezy okay see look that's why we married then you understand no no, no further questions your honor uh <laughs> <laughs> so what you been doing man because you know you always got some movie or something uh that you checking out you told me you was in there singing along with some shit what, what was so look, this nigga excited <laughs> she sat up so i watched jingle jangle on netflix So, you know, I am a Disney lover. I love all things Disney. I love sing-alongs, musicals, stuff like that. Uh Uh-huh. So, I watched it because it's a black cast. It's it's black, you know? It's a little black Christmas movie. Okay. So, I seen that everybody was like, oh, this is just so cute. It's a wonderful family movie. It's an ensemble cast or who was starring in it? Forrest Whitaker is in it. Um, With the lazy eye? Yes. Um, You looking at me or you looking over there? Uh... I think it's, I can't even think of her name. I know she was on American Idol. She played Tiana. I can't think of her name. Anika Rose. From um from The Quad? Yeah. Okay. Yep, her. Okay. So she was in there. She, be in she a lot played of stuff the daughter. Too on the low. Um, and then the other people I didn't know. They were, or, or, or Felicia Rashard was in there too. So the she wife was from like the Cosby. The one. Yeah, Felicia Rashard was in there. She was the daughter as she got older. Okay. Uh, basically the kid's gr- grandmother. So what was the gist of it? She was telling the Christmas story, and it ended up being like her life story because it was about their great great grandfather, which was her dad. So it was like the Notebook. No, 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 no. Um, so. They, he ran a toy factory, right? So if you've watched, think of... Hmm, a black man running a toy factory. I could okay. say it's like the black version almost, but it's like without Santa and all that, of kind of like the Polar Express. It's kind of that kind okay. of vibe. Okay. If, you, if you've seen that, but it's black. And that's one reason why I supported it. But I ended up watching it and loving it. My sisters love it. We had we already learned little songs and stuff on yeah, it. It's just a really cute that. family movie. I definitely would recommend that. If you got kids, I mean, if you don't get kids, you're a big kid like me, I still recommend watching it. Yeah, y- y'all, it's a family Christmas movie. Y'all definitely do that. Y'all, uh, that sing-along shit. It's like a, a walking Disney movie with y'all. <laughs> um, but that's what's up, though. I can't, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you I'm going to check it out, but I'm pretty sure we'll watch it again on Christmas, and I'm pretty sure you probably, are, what you over there doing? You ordering Christmas pajamas from Wayfair? 
Uh, Wayfair doesn't sell pajamas. Not yet. But from Old Navy, I am. All right, just don't make them be player, man. Don't make them be trash. And the dog is gonna have her Christmas pajamas as well. She ain't gonna wear them. She will. Um, question. So moving on. Um, we did what we did watch together was the Kevin Hart stand up. Yeah. Did you like it? I I, I was I was watching it, but it was like <laughs> I liked it. It had funny parts, just like anything, you know. Um, I am a a hard person to. To please when it comes to comedy because some things I'd be like, oh, that's not funny, it's just mm-hmm. more stupid. But that one, it had some funny parts on it. It was some parts where I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. Well, I only say that because, you know, with Kevin Hart, it's been a lot of criticism on him. Oh, he ain't funny no more. Because if you go back and look at some of his earlier stuff, it's like they was drop dead funny from top to bottom. Yeah. But I guess it's just kind of grown old. Because he did say on the show, he was like, man, I've been doing comedy for over 16 years. And you got to think, it's been over 10 years of us, like, watching him, you know what I'm saying, and seeing the way he's in. But, you know, I read his autobiography or whatever, and I'm okay with it, man. His work ethic and what he did, the comedy, the art itself is going to be subjective as with anything, like rap music, podcasting, Mm -hmm. whatever you do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Music as a whole, not just rap music, but it's going to be subjective. But to see somebody be able to execute and and put out a a good product over and over again, somebody's going to laugh at it. Somebody's going to like it. Exactly. Yeah. So, but would you watch it again? Would you recommend it? I would watch it again. Yeah, I recommend it because it is something to laugh um, about, especially like how, you know, he talks about his ex-wife and then when he gets into how they were dealing with the pandemic. It is funny. Yeah. So I would definitely recommend watching it. If it's something everybody was all kicking back and we was watching it again, I would definitely. Got you. Got you. Um, speaking of, and the, the whole premise was he was doing it in his basement. His house was so yeah. fucking big, which I thought that was dope to have a stage set up. Remind me, make notes. When we get a crib that we got to set up. Like we a got stage that area. noted. All right. It, um, and it was a dope setup too. Yeah. The um, stage, the fireplace, everything. That's because you're a fireplace lady. I am. Um, but no, so one of the things that he did discuss, what what you kind of alluded to it was like dealing with the pandemic. So it looked like, man, we heating up again after the election, everything's over. Now the Corona numbers are spiking again. Um, and I told you this, I don't know which, as we knew that it would, I don't know which show I said this on, but I said, they're going to start, everything's going to happen around the election. It doesn't matter until they start telling you about the number of deaths again to like exactly. scare the shit out of you. And then now they're doing that. Now it's all oh, so there's 50 million people died yesterday. And because now it's like, all right, we wanted y'all out and about for the election. Now we want y'all to sit y'all ass down. Yeah, go back while we figure this thing out. We'll get this uh, these vaccines going. And then, you know, so now there's talks of a potential uh, like of another shutdown. Um, four not to, in Texas. So. Well, yeah, well, not yet. We're trying to see because they they talking about if everybody shuts down for four to six weeks, we'll be able to get this thing under control. Whoop de whoop. No, no, no. So they did. They did. They was talking about that, but they rejected it. The government they rejected yeah, Biden's that's proposal. One, that's one plan. They can they can come up with another one. And kind of all right. Instead of four to six weeks, we're gonna just do four, and then we'll do this and we'll do that. They could have just left it at that because one, didn't they say it takes. 14 days you're supposed to quarantine for 14 days like they keep changing it because one minute it was 14 days but now the nba and the nfl wanted to start back playing so now they're saying five days so yeah. well, that's for nah that's for the players you regular nigga it take you 14 days regular uh, a player up oh, you got five <laughs> days you're good but coach, uh, nope you're good it's all good whatever it's, it's, it's literally he ain't got no super immune system his immune system ain't stronger than uh-huh. mine he's a football player yes he does oh oh um, it's because he has millions of dollars that's what it is but so let me ask you this because we 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 barely watch the news news like we keep up with what's going on but we don't sit down and watch all right news at 11 <laughs> um no. they did say that you know texas may be first on the list as far as te- like the vaccines and 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 I think what did they say? It was something like that they purchased it or they they testing it out or some shit. Like mm-hmm. I think not. We, I think they already tested it. Yeah, but we're gonna be the first state that p- supposed to openly have it for folks to go. Look at that! Hey, we a red state, right? Texas is a red state. Yeah, man, they sold us out. They didn't for the virus. sold us out, man. So let me ask you this: because you watch a lot of that shit, do you believe that that this is the start of the zombie apocalypse? Oh yes. We're going to be like this last episode that they had on The Walking Dead where we got to dress up. You got to take all the blood guts from the zombies and put us over so we can walk through the herd. Yeah, like Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. We got to smear all this stuff on us. and we gonna... Y'all, get ready, man. 
We're gonna have to walk through the herb. I don't know how we gonna shut the dog up though, because you know dogs bark at everything. Yeah. It's gonna have to train her, man. Gonna have to take her to one of them them voodoo people and cut out her tongue so she can't bark. That's animal cruelty. I know, but sure I want to keep my dog through the zombie apocalypse. So just buy a bunch of bullets. Yeah, okay. We gonna run out in Texas with that many folks. I don't think we'll ever run out in Texas. I think it's more. It's literally more guns than people in Texas. Mm-hmm. I say you. That's what you say. But I everybody know. got one. Yeah. So everybody's gonna need bullets. No, but if every, eventually it's gonna on, be a now. shortage. Hold somewhere. on. This is my thought process. If everybody turns into zombies, zombies don't use guns. They just run around eating people. Okay, but you still got to have enough. There's going to be a bunch of guns enough, laying around. But you got to have enough bullets to it's, get to the houses. It's going to get, be. Do you see how long these streets and freeways is? And? You will go through seven rounds just to try to get to the next house. What you mean seven rounds? Seven cases. You'll go through seven cases trying to get to the next house. Seven cases of what? Bullets? Of bullets. Trying to get to what next house? To the next house to search it. You you've, play, you've never nah, played zombie games? Just buy a bunch of bullets and then and then go take you you misunderstand what I'm saying. No. I'm saying that there are zombies out there, right? But yes. if let's say for instance, right? Let's say it's 20 people, right? And 20 people got 20 guns, right? But 15 of them turn into zombies. Mm-hmm. They're not using them guns no more. So then okay. the five of us can just take all of the guns. Yes, but if you're gonna re up bullets. If you're gonna re up, you yes. gotta go search the houses that's in the area. Yes. For more. Yes. As many people that it is and as many zombies as it's going to be on the road, you're going to run out of bullets because it's going to be so many to kill. Not if you know how to shoot, nigga. Like, aim for the head. Okay. You, Don't miss. You act like you got the infinite round of ammo like how we can I'm, do on the game. I'm not saying There's not that. infinite I'm, rounds. I'm saying go around and get ammo. We can do that shit. You I'm never saying go we're going around to get ammo, but eventually you will run out because it's going to be too many to kill. I'm telling you, there are more <laughs> bullets than there are zombies, so you can never run out. <laughs> no, there's not. On TV, they conveniently run out because <laughs> it's fucking TV, nigga, but it's America. They will never run out of bullets oh as long as they live you will run out as an individual I you won't. will I won't. so you will have to go to the next house to search bro not only i'm that. done with you not, not only i'm that. done with not you only that. not only that like you act like it's just gonna be us it's gonna be a community effort you just get in exactly but now you're really finna be fighting to get some more yeah that's true because then you're gonna have people just say the way they fighting over toilet paper exactly yeah. guess you got to shoot them too uh, no. i win <laughs> i let you win but i uh, know cool. you didn't i did yeah right i did Anyways, moving on. Next topic. <laughs> That's all I got. You want to switch to the questions? You want to start the questions now? Questions. Or did you have something else that you want question to add? Because you said, no, when we was going over it, you was like, I got one more thing and I want to add to the show. And then you didn't come back with it. Yeah, because I had forgot that day. I was, hey, I was busy at work and you it were. made me forget. How's work going? Work is going great. Are you excelling? Do you yes. Feel, do you feel fulfilled? I sure do. Cool. I don't like to toot my own horn, but... I was doing I had the highest score in the department. I was second in the department right now. So Talk that shit. Talk that shit. I don't like to try to toot my own horn. It's a team effort, but my manager did like, Hey Shar, you're doing the best over here. Thank you for holding us down. But who no, when you first told me, I was like, Babe, you probably carrying the whole team. No, yeah, but I'm not that person. I don't be like, Yeah, I'm doing this. Nah, I be, Oh, it's all of us together. And then then when they said the numbers, hey, it's thank you so much. You're really doing what you're supposed to do. No, I try. I mean, I'm just here. I guess you can call me a dweeb when it's time for work. Because I'm just there to get my check. I do what I got to do. I get my check and I'm gone. Yeah, man. I don't have time for the little side hee hee ha ha. Ha ha hee hee. I do what I got to do. And what? I'm out. You, you don't want to participate in the happy hour? Or no. the, the team cocktail no. hour? The, the bring a book? And no. I'd rather do what I got to do so I can clock out on time and be gone. You don't even have a watch on how you just did that. Exactly. But I know the time on my skin. Whatever. All right, let's switch. My to these skin questions. tells me it's skin o'clock to go. Skin o'clock. Um, let's go to these questions. You ready? Whose music is better, the old folks, the old grown folks, or our era of music? I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now. Honestly, it's the old grown folks era. Because yeah. I mean, substance. You, yeah, you go back to their music, and I mean, but you did, hold on. What as uh, we're talking we about that? Here we go. Because me and my mama had this debate today. Go ahead. 
my mama gonna say what she say oh y'all music just so nasty and vulgar i said lady did you not listen to y'all music back then and you, how y'all was in the club every what is that one song that he said something i want to lick your candy and then just like candy no not that one that it's another one they showed the video of yeah. it the man he said i want you to lick it or i want to lick it and then i want to stick it. it's an old school song and i said come on now Come on now. And then I'm your pusher, man. That one. No, no, no. That wasn't nasty, though. That was, they was trying to sell dope. <laughs> okay, so no, that that one there. Okay, my bad. Let's take that Two one Two Live Crew was nasty, though. Hey, girl, you look so pretty. Won't you lift your shirt? But Maybe even before titties. that, like, if you keep pushing it back even to our grandparents' music, too, they go back. Because Tina Turner music then was yeah, nasty yeah. and all of that. Yeah. So the old music I still think is what better. What was that one? All night long? They was talking about yeah. fucking on the roof mm-hmm. all night long. Who want to fuck long. on a dirty ass roof all night hey. long? Get a room. Why you think they got so many kids and everything from that generation? That 20 era? something kids. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> bang, bang. No. Um, so no, I agree. And only because remember when we did our um our road trip up to Dallas, we was playing some of the oldies and stuff. And it's like, man, they be having ballads. That shit be like six minutes long. And it's got a, a, yeah. everybody in the band get their little breakdown. All right, drum solo. Doom, 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 doom. You know what I'm saying? Then they get the, the the bridge. Then you got the little solo at the end. They get their little runs going and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, this is a very rich, fulfilling song. Now it's two and a half minutes, and it's just fuck a bitch, shoot a nigga in the face, fuck a bitch, fuck a bitch. Yeah, I get tired ah, of that ah, after ah, a while. Fuck a bitch, fuck a bitch. Song over. And then this this music too sometimes make you so angry. You'd be like, bro, you just cut me off in traffic. I'ma run that hoe over. You'd be like, see. You can't be listening to this music yeah. while they be doing this in traffic. The secular devil music. Mm-hmm. Cause sometimes they be making me want to be like CJ off of Grand Theft Auto. I said Andre. Um. Next question: Who would you want to do a movie scene with? Okay. Okay. So for me, I honestly. I got to do one of my, my favorite black celebrities who I want to do a movie scene with. Who? I would say Gabrielle Union. Why? We can be in a, a movie together. I feel like, one, if we do a movie, she could be she could play one of my big sisters. Like, hey, this is my big sister. Here's we can find a, a good black. I would say, like, a good black rom-com it could be, you know? Mm-hmm. She'd be my sister. And she, well... It's going to be about me, so it has to be my movie. I'm going to be the one. Oh, so you want to be being Mary Jane? No, no, no. <laughs> Even Jane though I already Houston? have love, but in the movie, I would be finding love. But it's going to be like real black love, like how me and your relationship was. Okay. So, so it's going to be a good rom-com. Who going to play me? Ooh. So, to get you. You just go, you get Mark Wahlberg and have him play, <laughs> play, have him play no, blackface? No, I can't. We, <laughs> We you, can't do that. I'm I, trying to get a black cast. You no, know I'm saying you so, go, you go have him. You go have like Robert Downey Jr. Have him in blackface, and he's like, ah, no, you got no, me playing no, a fucking no, nigga. No, uh-huh. no. Nice to meet you, fucking job. No, 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 no. <laughs> so if I if I have to do, I mean, just because he's a really good actor, actor, and he is kind of handsome to look at. He's not my favorite, but he's handsome to look at. Kind of beating around the bush there. But I would do because he's kind of a dweeb. Just say it. I know, but Michael B. Jordan, I would have him do that. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. To play me. That ain't even that nigga tall. That nigga muscular as fuck. I'm all short. I got well, some muscles. we're not getting the dude from uh the Biggie movie to play you. No. That's the nigga who looked like me though. Yeah, but we're not the getting him. Little C's and we're baby not 50. getting him. See nah. if you can get fifty cent. Nah. Dang show. Nope. <laughs> you like nope. nah. That nigga too big. Yeah, that's that's too big. That nigga too much. I'm not that muscular. Um, if I could do a movie scene. I had to think about this because at first I was going into my nigga Rolodex, right? Like, oh, Denzel or somebody like this. Now, I want to be in a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, dog. Yeah. Like, that would be a dope like, movie. Me and Leonardo DiCaprio? He, yeah, he is a dope actor. Imagine like a cop movie with like me and Leonardo DiCaprio where like Leonardo DiCaprio the cop and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like heat, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm the bad guy, but Leonardo said, DiCaprio is Al Pacino. Cause imagine if Leonardo DiCaprio is like the main detective on some like Robert on some Al Pacino shit, and mm-hmm. then like I'm like Robert De Niro 
You know what I'm saying? It's like Heat. You ever seen Heat? Yes. Nigga, that shit was fire, nigga. It was a good movie. And it's just me and Leonardo. And we sitting at Coney Island somewhere, nigga. And mm-hmm. he's just like, yeah. And then you get trapped in a dream. And then y'all keep going deeper and deeper inside. Nigga, with laser guns exactly. and zombies with infinite ammo. Exactly. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next question. Next question. <laughs> Who is a better cook? Um, And what is your slamming? Dish? Yeah. Yeah, so who is a better cook between the two of us? Come on now. Yeah. Hands down. Oh, I thought you weren't that type of person. <laughs> I thought I, I'm not well, I'm not that type of person. When it comes person. to this, I mean, there's you there's no you competition wasn't. right you here. Said, you said there's you wasn't no that type competition. of person. None. Um and my slamming dish, man, I don't know cuz I got so many. Um I'm trying to think. The balsamic lamb chop slapped. Yeah. The um herb roasted like Whatever you did to the cod that one time with the butter sauce, the garlic, yeah, that shit the was herb amazing. and garlic roasted um, uh, cod. I'm trying to think. There's so many. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Neezy here. I wanted to make sure that y'all go and get your Naturally Nay Instant Moisture Duo. That's right. You know, this Instant Moisture Duo can be used on braids, locks, twists, beards, and all of your natural hair. The moisturizer is all natural ingredients. One of our key ingredients, aloe vera. You know, aloe vera is really great for your scalp. And our oil blend is a mixture of the best oils that you can use to promote hair growth and give your hair a good shine and overall just a natural glow so you're getting two amazing products make sure you go to inaudibleruckus.com slash naturally nay and also you can follow us on instagram at naturally underscore nay n-a-e-e um the honey glazed salmon that shit slapped there's a lot yeah, yeah so that's why there's there's you no got I got, favorite. Don't, don't sleep on me though. My, oh yeah, no. My, you 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 got some. My feta but you're not chicken. the best. That's that's fair. I will take that. <laughs> you got it, big dog. You got it. You got it. Um, my my feta stuffed chicken. And your st- your chili. The Texas chili is, is dope. With it with the uh, can you yeah. Um, I was about to say I gotta make that this year, but it, it hadn't gotten cold and cold. Normally we make it around the beginning of November. Yeah, it ain't been cold yet. We had a few nights where it's been. 45 but it's right back up to 70 in the morning so we'll see we'll see because in the next couple months or so when they when the temperature drop i might make it um and then you know what was i tried to do something else for the one of the anniversaries of your birthday or something i tried to get fancy on some shit i got some recipes i'm working on man then i just made some shrimp today um I'm, I gotta get my game up. I'm practicing. I'm practicing. But I ain't gonna be there. on. I ain't gonna be on your level, Sensei. But you, you know getting what I'm there though. You doing good. Um. All right. This Practice next one. Practice makes perfect. Describe what love language is. It's like gifts of affirmation, affection, attention. There's all these different like things. It's like, oh, I can be this. I can be that. Ah, <sighs> for me, one definitely, it has to be you know affection. Really for me, because I'm a big baby. That's that's. And really you like gifts. Me. You're a gift person. I am a gift person, but you know, I just try not to expect it. I'm just surprised when they do come, but I don't expect it. Hint, hint. Huh. Mhm. All right. So, words. The other ones are the uh, physical touch. There's quality time. There's acts of service. Uh, words of affirmation and gifts. So you said gifts, physical touch. Um. I think I'm um I don't say quality time. I like to spend time with you. I think we spend a lot of time, yeah. And then uh, acts of service. Do stuff for you all the time. All the time, yeah. All the time. And then too, so I'm different too. I don't know if this is on the list or not. Maybe that considers quality time and acts of service. But I told you some of the most romantic shit that we do is like when we be running errands and like <laughs> yeah, I know that shit sound weird, but like you be like take me on a date, da, da, da. like that time when like your car got hacked or something, and yeah. we had and, like something happened with your account, so we literally had, had to take to all the money out. Cash. We had to do everything in cash and just drive around the city. And I was like, all right, I'm going on a ride. And he's like, but we don't have time to do. It. We got plenty of time. 
Yeah, that's the worst, Pitting man. A your, if your account ever been hacked, you gotta go to the bank. Then if you try to withdraw the money through the drive through, they're like, no, because you taking out this amount yeah. of money. You gotta come in. Then you gotta stand in the line on the inside. But we was twirling through the city though, yeah. and we and was then, getting it taken care of. Look, but man, paying bills in cash. Online. You sound bougie. Yes, I am. I'm going to tell you, I'm bougie when it comes to paying my bills. I like to do it online. I get my online receipt. I take a screenshot of my receipt, and I have it in my email and a copy on my phone. Damn. Bada bing, bada boom, ba bam. Ba bam, ba bam. All right. That's that. Good thing for online banking, though. Uh, <laughs> next uh, question. Are you spiritual or religious? And is there a difference? I thought we had this conversation before. Like and a long time ago. We can hang we, with you. you have to be more spiritual because you can't just, I mean, one, I am Pentecostal. Right. I'm Pentecostal. But, you know, there's different kind of religions. Everybody else has their own religions and their beliefs. Mm -hmm. So I say more so spiritual because you got to have that spiritual connection with God. Yeah. So, so because what's the every difference? Every religion does something different. Like you got your Pentecostals who does one run their service a different kind of way you got yeah. your apostolic you got your um your then you go into like the muslims and yeah. everybody runs their services different that's what i think the difference no, no, no. so the difference between no, no no i get that i'm talking about the difference between spirituality and religion and your and from your vantage point for me is when it comes to spiritual spirituality part you just have that direct connection with mm -hmm. God. You're not focused on how somebody finna run their church, how you telling me that I gotta praise and yeah. I gotta worship. When it comes to spiritual, God, this yep, is me coming up. to you. Without the middle. As man. humble as I am, this is my heart. What you need. Let's talk. Yeah, what you need me to do. I'm feeling weak today. I gotta cry. God, I'm gonna sit here and talk to you. I need to listen to my music this year because you know when you go to the religion part no you gotta stand over here yeah. and you gotta just but, keep crying but and, and we talked about this because this is one of those things we had to cover like when we um when we got together because mm -hmm. you pentecostal you was raised pentecostal you go to church i was raised over witness i didn't go to church i went to yeah. the kingdom hall growing up and then i had stopped going so i still believed in god that's what i told you like for mm -hmm. me it was a spiritual thing with me i found myself to be more spiritual than religious and then you initially didn't take to that you was like yeah, bro exactly. nah 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 you gotta go to church for me and if you don't go to church and pray this way this, that, this. and i'm like bro like i don't need that to tell me about god mm -hmm. and i i didn't want to deter you from like because i know how enthusiastic you are about church especially like when you was helping out with the kids and stuff yeah, so i, I didn't really want to love that i didn't want to deter you from it but i'm like you can't force shit on me either but then as we started to kind of find common ground and compromise there's that word again um we were able to be like you was able to see what i was saying and, and i feel like the difference is it's like a wire right a wire is directly connected to the source of the power that's spirituality but that wire needs to have um, a casing to kind of protect it to mm -hmm. keep it like you know what i'm saying to keep it connected and keep it from detaching because if you ever seen a wire that's been stripped of the casing it'll get kind of frayed and it'll start exactly. to disconnect a little bit i feel like religion is kind of that structure and that casing the outer wire to help it like stay connected mm -hmm. now the thing that you come across in these different religious groups and stuff is a lot of times the bureaucracy and kind of like all the, the rules and regulations and stuff kind of deter you from that it discourages you from god it does yeah. the opposite of what it's supposed to do or you get so entrenched in those those internal politics and stuff that you deviate from what you're actually there for yeah because you, you do me? go to these churches and different places and they do just kind of condemn you like yeah you're wrong and it, it be and it, not only that but it also be a lot of posturing and shit too for positions so sometimes mm -hmm. people just telling you stuff just because it influences like their ability just to make them look good to the past you feel me like oh, I'm gonna go over here. I'm I'm gonna help the the uh, the gross family over here. I'm gonna help these young this young couple. Hey, look at me. I'm helping the whole time. I'm not really helping them, but they make it look like I'm helping them. And I oh I did some mentorship. All right. And so. I ain't even trying to like talk down on it, but what is what is up with all these different different organizations inside the church? Cause remember now all the different ministries. Yes. Now. Remember, the one that threw me for a loop is, all right, y'all, on Wednesday, we're going to have Bible study. But then on Thursday, it's going to be the single ministry. What? 
Why do we have all the nah. singles just they're you know trying to hook is. us up, nah. hook people up? You know what this is. Yes, it's a scam, bro. I'm about to tell you. The singles ministry? Yes, they scamming it. They making it. They trying to break it out. I've never heard of that one. It's, uh, all my years of being in church, visiting churches, never heard bro, of the singles no, ministry. No, this is what's really going on. The church needs to have stuff done, so they're trying to break it into different committees and, and label it as a ministry so you can feel like you're serving, and then that way they got you to basically work for them for free because it's for the ministry, right? Now, if they get a little extra or whatever then they gonna be like all right we could pay you for x y and z but that's why they be on you at the collection plate like hey we need the finance ministry to come up with forty five hundred dollars by the end of the week so otherwise they're gonna cut off the water like it's gonna be shit like that yeah so what they do is like nigga you're basically recruited to different little pockets and teams and shit mm-hmm. to kind of help that shit go you feel me like remember when we was at the one church it's like oh now me with no credentials or nothing all right you are an advisor for the young adults ministry and i'm like the fuck like <laughs> i ain't say that that's not what i said but in my head i'm like me then it was like yeah. me who who gonna drink a corona when we leave here me yeah, and i'm not and I, I thought about it i even prayed on everything i'm not about to stop drinking no damn coronas like nah like you can't drink beer at all i can't smoke weed at all Nah, like if that's the t- and then I had to, I, then I'm over here questioning myself like, well, damn, am I denying my calling from God? God didn't tell me to do that. Now he did tell me to holler at y'all. That's what I be on, you know, on the shows and stuff. Like I be I be chopping game and stuff. But he ain't tell me to just quit drinking and smoking cold turkey and like step on the pulpit and, and shout and dance every week. He did. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's really entertainment. I ain't going to lie to you, man. And I pointed out a couple of churches that we visited. I pointed out to you. I'm like, look, this is a set kind of like script. And they just like, it's entertainment. And they just do this shit like. And after a while, it's like, all right, on cue. Bam. Yes, sir. Brother Gross, sir. Yeah, and then it's like, all right, now watch this. In about five minutes, so-and-so going to come running out. Boom. All right. Then at the 12-minute mark, this person going to start shouting. All right, boom. Then every week, like clockwork, that shit started happening. Mm-hmm. And it was like, damn, this nigga low called it. I'm like, yes, I'll be in the car. <laughs> I'm out. He tried to slide out, then they catch it to do. Oh, so remember that one time we went to go visit some church just to check it out, and then people slid out, and, and like we yeah. get to our car. Hey, hey, you're leaving already, you know? Well, this is just such and such Sunday, and it's not the same way how it would be on Fourth Sunday. But if you come back again, you know, then we'd be here, and we just want you to fellowship with us. Um, nah, <laughs> I'm smooth. Um, lastly, before we get up, I ain't got no more questions, but before we get up out of here, man, got big things popping. So I wanted to ask you, like, are you a fan uh, of my latest endeavor? I'm a little song that I came up with. The Inaudibles don't know yet. I, ain't, I may or may not. It may be released. It may not be released, but I had a little song. I want you to like, just tell us like your thoughts. Yes, I'm a fan of it. Um, I don't want you to quit your day job and become a rapper, though. Nah, nah, but, I ain't trying to quit. Come on, man, believe in but me. But definitely, me. I was one shocked and impressed how you decide you came on beat with it, though. Yeah, it was because you know, let's be clear, I can't rhyme on beat at all. Yeah, definitely not at all. It was just like if y'all ever seen Drumline when Nick Cannon was trying to read that music, the music sheet. That's how yeah. it was. It was just like. Uh, and then, uh, and then you was just look the way that you couldn't be on beat was like how Floyd Mayweather couldn't even say his damn. his line, but the way that it turned, bro. Shout out, shout out to John. Mm-hmm. He got your ass right for that beat. He got you good. Yeah, because no, well, you helped too though. Because remember when I was practicing and you was like, I hope you don't rap it like that. <laughs> he was like, Nah, <laughs> like what are you rapping to? Like, don't count the cadence. Like, go here, do this, and I was like, like y'all, I had to do like the. If you in school with the syllables to clap, the A B clapping to try to help him, it was like, oh shoot. I'm not good. I could just hear it. Like I know what I know how I think it should sound, but it was cool. I have a music ear, but I ain't no music teacher. You taught me. Shit. I can. I did a little bit. John nah, did the rest. Nah. So every beat from from here on out, you got to help me find where to jump in at. I can help you on that. Help me identify the four count. That's I all can I know. Help you just when boom, to come tum, in. Tum, tum, tum. It was all a dream as the sun gleam. <laughs> you should drop that on here, a little song. I don't know if we're going to release it or not. We was going to hold it. Okay. We're not. I'm saying like what you think. Because we all doing it based off what you, you, you the boss. 
I mean, let them, let the people let the people hear. Lo, let the people hear. On this episode or the, or this upcoming episode? Put it on the actual the main episode. The main episode. The main episode. Fuck it then. Easy said you put it on the main. It's gonna be one of the one of the independent artists on this. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm just saying. Fuck it. Just saying. So wait, you say and release it though. Why not? What you gonna hold on to it for? It ain't like you trying to go platinum with it. Just that's true. It's fun. It's just exactly. Fun. I, I was waiting to see what you wanted Spit to do. Because nah, you you wouldn't listen to it on the ride home. Because I listened to it seven times already before that. I, I, I told you that I was. I just got tired of hearing the same thing over and over again. Because it's fire. It's only it's only a verse. Yeah, but I can't say I'm hearing the same thing over and over again. After I didn't heard it four times, I don't want to hear it no more. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, you made an executive decision, so that's what we're gonna do this week. Yes. Okay, I'll just make sure. I had to get permission, man. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you something. Happy wife, happy life. Because at first she was like, "Don't quit your day job," but then I seen a look on her face. She she did to like, "Oh shit, okay." Yeah, still don't quit your day job though. You ain't trying to go platinum. You you're not gonna be a full time rapper. Hell no. Nah. And let's be clear, it took a lot of work to get me on beat. So I, if it's gonna take a lot of that work, I don't know. We'll see though. Um, so we're about to get up out of here. You know the rules. Make sure you go to Instagram and follow me at naturally underscore nay with two e's, and the name is same on Facebook as well. Uh, but make sure also you go to inaudibleruckuscom dot com slash naturally nay and cop your instant moisture duo. It's really great this time of the year. Is weather's getting cold? You need to moisturize and oil your hair. Seal in that moisture. Go get your duo. Yes, Lord. All right, we up out of here, y'all. It's another episode of the Ski Talk. Brought to you by an audible ruckus. Motherfucker.